If you've been looking for the perfect tomato meat recipe that can be a base for your stews, jollof rice, or pasta, or can also be used for your grilled meat, then you've made the right stop. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing the recipe that will change your life. It will literally up your stew and jollof rice game from a 10 to a 100. Now, this recipe not just teaches you how to make the tomato mix base, it also helps you to know how to build depth of flavors for that incredible taste and how to cut your cooking time in half. If this looks like what you're interested in, then keep watching. My name is Ehi and you're welcome to my kitchen. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ehi and I'm a lawyer who loves to cook and literally adores everything kitchen. If you're stopping by for the very first time, I am super excited to have you and you are very much welcome to stay. On this channel, I share lots of amazing food recipes and lots of other fun kitchen activities. So kindly click the subscribe button and turn on post bell notifications so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love, support and encouragement. It's been super amazing having you in my corner. You know how we do just don't forget to give me a big thumbs up at the end of this video if you loved watching it as much as i enjoyed making it and don't forget to leave a sweet comment in the comment section in today's video i will be sharing the perfect recipe for that perfect banging tomato mix base that tomato mix that when you use it for your stews and your jello fries it gives you this party style feel and you can also use it for your pasta grilled meat or any other thing that you require a tomato base for this is not your regular tomato mix base recipe this one is my special and you need to stay with me guys without further ado <laughs> let's get to know our ingredients so loves these are the ingredients that we need to make our tomato mix recipe we need our fresh tomato now your tomato should be ripe please not the green ones i was not able to get you know all ripe in the market but please try to get the really ripe one it helps with the taste we need some tatashe also known as red chili bell pepper we need some shombo also known as paprika i think <laughs> we need some fresh pepper then we have some garlic some ginger and onions now what you want to do when making this is you want to first take out the seeds from your tatashe and your shombo deceiving your tatashe and your shombo is not optional if you want your tomato mix to come out perfect and banging like it is not optional a lot of people you know cook theirs like this or just go ahead to blend especially those people who are cooking large quantity i want to blend from the market and all of that me i never blend mine like that what we are going to do is we are going to cook all of these things together before we blend and we're going to cook it in a different way than you know it so please stay with me guys now when i cook this i like to split this in two it's really just preference for me but i find that when i split it in two it helps the um tomato water or tomato liquid basically to spill out quickly and it just softens faster we definitely need onions at the beginning stage don't worry you get to know what we need it for and of course our ginger and our garlic so i'm going to go ahead to deceive my tatashe and my shombo off camera and i'm going to split this try to sort out my pepper and take out the you know heads of the pepper then we'll be right back okay love so we're done the seeding all of our vegetables this is what the tomato looks like when you split it in two some people go the extra mile to take out the seeds but i didn't do that for this recipe sometimes when i use tomatoes for other recipes i may decide to take out the seeds then we have our onions peeled washed and chopped our fresh pepper our ginger and our garlic our deceded tatashe as you can see and our deceded shombo as well now we are going to get right into the cooking process so to begin we are going to be needing some oil right i'm using vegetable oil for this but if you want to be extra you can use some olive oil which is obviously a healthier option or even coconut oil it just really just depends on what your preference is so we're literally doing this like we're making stew right 
and if you try it my way like i always say it will bang no cap <laughs> so into that pot of hot oil we're going to be adding some dried rosemary now if you have access to the fresh rosemary leaves of course you can make use of it then we are going to be putting our garlic our ginger our onion Now this is just so that the onions, the garlic and the ginger infuses their flavors into the oil because it will help for a deeper flavor. Now we're just going to go ahead and add our deceded shombo, sachet and pepper. I'm also going to add our tomato now. Now if you are scared of the hotness of the pepper, you can actually wear gloves when you do this so you don't have to be like me and not wear gloves i like to be like the in the bosky. that's why i don't wear gloves but it's actually really hot especially the shopper so when the seeding it you may want to wear gloves so that it doesn't hurt or you can also do this in the market if you are in nigeria i mean i'm covered in the market in nigeria you can get the some guys in the market to help you deseed it so you don't have to stress now into that we're going to be adding some parsley some oregano curry powder nutmeg masala if you are a subscriber on this channel you already know that that's one of my favorite spices really i like nutmeg masala a lot some coriander thyme black pepper and some cinnamon powder we're going to be adding some seasoning of course uh, you can use any seasoning of choice and also add some salt if you want to then you want to mix all of that together till fully combined frankly speaking at this point there is already some sort of aroma coming from this very very pleasing aroma coming from this right now and you'd literally be smiling at this point because this is good now once you are sure that everything is in a relationship like they are fully combined and intertwined you want to cover this up and allow it cook on medium low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes after about 20 minutes this is what it looks like so as you can see it has produced some juice but we're still going to leave it to cook for another 10 minutes just so that it softens further it has boiled for extra time and this is what it looks like of course it has more water now and the water had even started to dry out that's exactly what i was aiming for so now we can proceed to blend this with some onions, garlic, and ginger. So I know what you're thinking, that looks like a lot of onions. Truth is, you need enough onions for this to bang, like enough of it. Now notice that there's some liquid in here. So because of this you may not need to add water but if you do not have a heavy duty blender if your blender is not strong and you are managing it please do oh, add small water so that your blender doesn't go bad i beg you now you can wait for this to cool down before you blend or you can be like me and proceed to blend immediately whichever one is fine it will yield exactly the same results guys just just see see what i am teaching you for free just negu do what i am teaching you for free can you see how thick this is can you see how smooth this is 
Can you see how vibrant it is? Like it is so bright. See, eh? If you use this tomato mixture for your stew, hmm, you would have just made the world's bangiest. Is there a word like that? Party stew. Not to talk of if you now use this for your jello fries. So please let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you are gonna try this recipe sometime. Let me know how it comes out for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that already. I do not know what you are waiting for, honestly. Turn on post bell notifications so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And don't forget to share this with as many people as you can share it with. Bye, lovers.